much of anyone. I'm never sure of anything. I'm still not sure about this. Maybe it's not about being sure or unsure. Maybe it's just about being brave. Okay, so First Blush is about uh, a young married couple who are um, pretty happy and then um, they become involved with another woman and then they attempt to have a polyamorous relationship. It's about all of the highs and lows and everything in between uh, that happens. I think the whole point of the movie is to normalize a polyamorous relationship and just see it as a relationship with more than two people. Um, so hopefully by the end, there's more people high-fiving. <laughs> but really, I think the ultimate goal is just to present a polyamorous relationship in a very normal, natural light. Before I came to Los Angeles, I'd never really heard of polyamory. And then it seemed that everybody, you know, knew somebody or was involved with somebody who was polyamorous. Um, I think that it, from my perspective, from what I heard, it had a lot of negative connotations and was sort of demonized and so it was nice to learn about it and get a fresh perspective and to be able to you know dive into these people and then bring that story for others to now learn about and you know fall in love with. I mean sex sexuality is such a fascinating thing you know and um, there's you can't be black and white about it um, and yeah you, you, I mean that's the most intoxicating thing about life is that when you meet people and you connect with them you have no idea what you're gonna offer them or they're gonna offer you and some person completely change your life and make you um, reevaluate who you are and what you stand for and um, yeah. Surprise! Turning 30 does it feel different? Like I guess I hit all the marks I'm supposed to hit in my 20s. Married, employed, I'm probably not gonna die poor and lonely, so yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, but I didn't ask if you were doing great. I asked if you felt different. 30's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, obviously, Nina was at a place of like questioning like what she had done up until turning 30, right? Of going like, okay, well, I guess I've met all of these so-called requirements. Um, but I'm telling you, when I hit 30, I was like, I have arrived. I'm alive. So yeah, 30 is the new 19. When someone's invited, is there really a true third wheel to this? Um, uh, I'm sure there is in, in other instances, but no, in this, not really. I think we all try to, uh, you know, they, they navigated, I think, pretty well. There were instances where I think when we tend to get into a third wheel type scenario where like my character Drew goes off with Olivia and does something, um, that's when kind of the wheels start to fall off the, uh, the cart. And so the whole relationship between the three of them is kind of based on all three components being there and, and working with each other, you know, consistently. Yeah. If you want to make a tricycle, you need three wheels. <laughs> so everyone gets to be the third, you know, you know, if that's what you're going for. Uh, I feel I feel that uh, in any kind of relationship, whether it's one on one or you know three people, four people, whatever, um, you always run the risk of someone feeling like they're not being heard or they're you know if their uh, their needs aren't being met or or something's not being communicated to them. Um, so absolutely, if you have three people in a room, you do run the risk of like one person feeling shut out and then having to kind of uh, get back into it. I don't feel that the problems that the uh, people encounter in the movie are necessarily because they're in a three-way relationship. I think the, the everything that the characters go through could happen in any type of relationship. It just happens to be happening in a three-person you can see First Blush starting February 2nd on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, Amazon Prime, Microsoft something. <laughs> and Sorry. I'm, I'm going to give it to Victor now. Go, Victor! Great DVD. We've got commentary from the whole cast, including all of the support. Everyone. Everyone's on there. Um, see it in perfect 1080p quality. I mean, you know, you've got to get on this. It's the deal of the century, guys. <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Kate Beecroft. I play Olivia Reed in First Blush, and you've been buzzed.